to begin this Mogalog with an apology. Last night, while we were discussing U.S. President Joe Biden's visit to Israel, one of the headlines that appears as I'm talking said, Iranian regime calls Israeli strike on Gaza hospital a war crime. Like many of the world's media, we were too hasty in assuming that the tragic strike on the Al-Hali hospital was conducted potentially by the Israelis. But it appears that this is wrong. The Israelis have responded saying it wasn't them. Here was U.S. President Joe Biden with Israeli Prime Minister commenting on the matter earlier today. Israel, as they respond to these attacks, it seems to me that uh, have to continue to ensure that you have what you need to defend yourselves. And uh, we're going to make sure that occurs, as you know. I was deeply saddened and outraged by the uh, explosion at the hospital in Gaza yesterday. And based on what I've seen, it appears as though it was done by the other team, not, not you. Um, IDF spokesman Rear Admiral Daniel Hagari said roughly 450 Hamas rockets intended to strike Israel have fallen short and landed in Gaza. Here's a clip posted by the Israeli government from Israeli News Channel 12, which appears to prove the point. You can show that you can see the rockets. This is the uh, left red stamp fired over the hospital, which is the right, and you can see the blast. So that is proof of the fact that it came from the Gaza Strip. This clip appears to show rockets fired from Gaza over the area of the Al Hali hospital moments before it exploded. GB News has not been able to verify the footage independently. The IDF spokesman also read out a translated transcript of an intercepted call between Hamas terrorists in which they discussed the failed rocket which fell short. The transcript implied the rocket was fired by another Palestinian terror group, Islamic Jihad. Listen to this clip, which again we've been unable to verify independently. I'm telling you, this is the first time we've seen a missile like this falling. And so that's why we are saying it belongs to the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. What? They are saying it belongs to the Palestinian Islamic Jihad. It's from us. It looks like it. In my view, all the evidence indicates that the Israelis are telling the truth. Earlier in the day, this is what I wanted to believe. I thought and hoped that Israel, who is responding to such a wicked terrorist attack, was likely to be telling the truth, and I wanted that to be true. But as the day has gone on, the evidence for the Israeli participation has become stronger and stronger. Paul Beaver, a British defence analyst, told The Times that extensive satellite and mobile phone images showed the rocket responsible for the explosion was ground-launched, not air-launched, and experts can spot differences which allow them to see which it was. He went on to say, the Israeli Air Force has been using precision guided bombs, not dumb, unguided bombs on Gaza. And these weapons don't generate a plume. And anyway, the rocket was going the wrong way. The laws of physics are on the Israelis' side. And Hamish de Breton Gordon, a British weapons expert, said the Israeli denials were plausible given the lack of a deep crater at the site of the explosion. And Al Jazeera, which is not particularly friendly towards the Israelis, actually had a live stream which indicated that this rocket came from Gaza. Equally important, a democratic state cannot afford to be caught out telling lies, and historically, Israel has been willing to admit mistakes when it has made them. Of course it's important to carry out a proper investigation, um, and whilst that's happening, this has unfortunately allowed Hamas a short-term propaganda coup. But as the facts are being established, and they do seem to be showing that Israel is clearly telling the truth, it will be shown that it's Hamas who has no concern for the people that it seeks to represent. Of course, I want to hear from you. Let me know your thoughts via mailmog at gbnews.com.